Alright, as you can see, it's Sunday, September 9th, 2012, 9.35 at night, 9.35 a.m. Today I'm going to Walmart to buy a, to buy a, a digital tape recorder. And we're going to see if any problems transpire concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me. While I'm waiting for the bus, while I'm waiting at the bus stop for the 9.28 to take me there. On the 9.28 bus route going there. Or while I'm at Walmart. It doesn't matter if it's between me and a, uh, a, a bus passenger, the bus driver, combination of both. It doesn't matter once I get to Walmart if it's a customer, a management, employee, a combination of all three, or security. Understand this and be clear. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm in San Diego, California right now. I'm a target of what is known as organized gang stalking. And if you go to Google and type in gang stalk in Walmart, you can clearly see that other targets are complaining about being gang stalked at Walmart. I've already proven that I've been gang stalked on the 928 bus multiple times. Uh, and so, you know, the thing about it is, is that since this is organized crime within the system, what these wild animals are going to attempt to do is create an incident towards me, including even staging the witnesses, and then reverse the situation and blame me for the actual incident. So I'm predicting it now, before I even get there, before I even go. I'm in San Diego, California, and I'm a naturalist. And that's only one of the reasons why I am hiking in California. There's 9,800 homeless people in the county of San Diego. The San Diego Union Tribune did an article on it way back in January 2012. It was either January or February. So why would the San Diego police be picking on me so much about hiking in California, in San Diego County? Because they're directly involved in what is known as organized gang stalking racketeering schemes where they target people on disabilities in order to be able to take over their checks to exploit their insurance and to exploit a target sexually in a syndicated run organized crime group home that is literally run through the state and what they do the medicare is where they make the big money at okay and so what they do is tear down people's lives that are on disability including the elderly and even including children that are on disability and what they do is tear down their personal lives, they blacklist them from employment, and then try to use the excuse that the target cannot take care of themselves because they might be homeless, even though they're the ones who steal the target's rent. Or will get property owners or landlords on board, including also postal workers who will, or mail theft and mail delayment, who will happily steal or delay the rent. Uh, go to Google and type in gang stalking run apartments next to targets and you'll clearly be able to see that these expeditions are designed to make a target homeless so they can then turn around and claim a target cannot take care of themselves because they're homeless and they won't get out of the situation they'll literally gang stalk you to homeless shelters because it's organized crime within the system that has tentacles without within the community and what they do is use their power positions in order to be able to influence any place including homeless shelters domestic violence shelters you would not believe what I know in social services. Google organized stalking or gang stalking in social services, including social services workers. And just to let you know as a sidebar, go to Google and type in gang stalking or organized gang stalking and then cross-reference it to remote neural monitoring. When you observe how many Google generated responses you get to these cross-reference descriptions that are combined together in a Google search, you'll clearly be able to see this techno technological capability is coupled within organized gang stalking expeditions. Now, when you review remote neural monitoring PDF link that is put online through Freedom From Covert Harassment and Surveillance, you'll clearly see that social services workers are mentioned within the remote neural monitoring file. And what they're doing is using these types of expeditions and their technological capabilities combined together along with the schemes that they create in order to be able to make a target homeless, in order to be able to then try and claim a target cannot take care of themselves in order to be able to take everything a target's got. Their property, to take over their finances, to exploit their insurance, and then to also exploit a target sexually and syndicated around group home. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm in San Diego, California. I'm exposing these crimes all over the internet. And through this tactic of organized gang stalking cyber surveillance, they know it. So what they're trying to do is develop schemes and incidences along my path, blame me for them, as a result, they then start accumulating documentation like falsified police reports, county mental health, social services documentation, combine it together, bring it before a syndicated probate judge and a syndicated probate attorney to take legal custody of a target in order to be able to achieve the original motivation, containment for exploitation, racketeering. I'm in San Diego, California, and today's date is September 9, 2012.